Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another uh, expansion concept video. So today we're doing it on the NBA and uh, yeah, we have the NBA map right here and we're going to explore where um, expansion teams uh, could potentially land or relocation teams could potentially go to. So we're going to start this off. So we're going to start this off with some honorable mentions. These are the cities that I won't consider. Um, on this list right here besides Kansas City. This is on a, a list made by the um, Made by the NHL or followed closely by it. So number one is Vancouver They had a team the Vancouver Grizzlies pretty sure you're familiar with it But the problem is they didn't really have a lot of success and they had they uh, ended up moving uh, to Memphis um, and They're during their brief time there. They weren't successful whatsoever um We'll go into that a little bit next in uh, Nashville. So Nashville, even though um, Vancouver could be a good spot, uh, since it's in Canada and Toronto is really famous, I don't really see that. And Nashville wouldn't work either because Memphis is right near there and the two cities will kind of clash. So it doesn't really make any sense for there to be another team in Nashville because there's not really a market or a huge push for that. And like I said with Vancouver, uh, second second time is not really a draw and plus the team when they were there they weren't that successful so it's not like a nostalgic thing whatsoever so the next uh, city that we're gonna root out is uh, st. Louis in Missouri um, now the main reason why we're rooting them out is because um, it wouldn't really make a lot of sense there's no really drive to make a basketball team in the city plus they have an old and struggling economy so um, NBA probably wouldn't be too successful. So next uh, city would be Pittsburgh. You know, they have the three major sports, but I think that uh, Pittsburgh should remain uh, more of like a college basketball town. And plus, they're already old and established rivalries that um, can't really... It feels weird if they just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Now, the next city is Mexico City. Um, the NBA has dabbled a little bit. They're doing some games and some test runs in Mexico City. But I don't see them making the huge jump to Mexico, mainly because no other major sports um, have done that so far, like the NFL. And I don't see why the NBA would be the first. Eventually down the line, maybe, but in the near future, no. Um, those, they need to test out um, certain marketing things first until they uh, think that uh, Hispanics could watch basketball, like actually be invested into basketball. Now, this might be a little controversial how this is not on the list, but Las Vegas, I don't see them having an NBA team, mainly because the NFL and NHL are already there. Even though they've had the Summer League and stuff like that, um, I think the even though the NBA is closely watching um, Las Vegas to see there's the success of the different sports, I don't really see so. Uh, I don't really see them doing that. And also, here's a nice concept that I would like to see. And as you can read by uh, the thing on the screen, um, Las Vegas could be potential for an expansion, and I'm not sure if it's worth the risk for the NBA. Okay, so now we're on to the actual video. Uh, we're going to go on to the top five teams I can see. So number five would be Albuquerque. I believe that this will be kind of a good stepping stone to see if it could be successful in Mexico. Some of the pros are the growing demographic. Uh, and plus it's getting really younger uh, and the city is expanding all it needs really and all the problems that it has are that uh the there's no really draw to the city there's no like major need for it uh, who would buy the team because it's not really a huge market in new mexico just yet and there's no stadium for them so who would build it and it plus would be the first major sport and a cool concept i thought would be was the albuquerque thunderbirds I got most of these online, so let's just move on to the next one, which would be Kansas City, Missouri. I got this one wrong in the NHL expansion video. I got a lot of comments for that. But the pros is it has a stadium, the Sprint Center, has prior success um, in the 70s. And there's a big sports market, as you'll see later in the video. Um, the stadium is new, and it's, it's uh, only used for concerts right now. But the biggest problems... It's not an obvious first choice. Although the Sacramento Kings are not that successful, the Kings do have a new stadium, and there was failed votes to get a team in uh, 
Kansas City, which is a problem. But I believe this that this would be a good city, even though college basketball is really popular in the Midwest. I think it can still be successful in Kansas City. But anyway, going on to the next one, Virginia Beach, uh, South Virginia, uh, Richmond. It's a growing market, and there's new stadium, a new stadium plan. But there's uh, there are a couple of barriers on drawing a new basketball crowd, and plus the stadium um, vote fell through so far. So we can only see um, what happens in the next couple months or next couple years. But I think that Virginia honestly would be a good place for basketball, as it you know it's good a good location on the East Coast. And that's a, a nice concept I saw online. Let me know any of the concepts or names that you could see in the comment section down below. Moving on to number two. This is probably a little controversial with Louisville. I know they had a little uh, problems with their basketball teams. But the city revolves around basketball. And NBA usually does well in non-traditional uh, markets. And the concerts near Indiana with the Pacers. It is um, a pretty small market. And, like I said before, it will be competitive with college. So, um, you know, you're not too sure how successful um, that will be. And then here's a cool concept I saw. I'm not sure if this is an actual team, but uh, it looks like an actual team, and I can dig it. The Kentucky Colonels kind of has a little ring to it, like Kentucky Fried Chicken. And number one, obviously, would be Seattle. It's the obvious choice, the Supersonics returning to it. So some pros... I don't think we're going to get too far into that. It's the largest market without a team. Um, let's see. <clears throat> There's a lot of rumors, as you can see with this article. And there was prior success, unlike Vancouver. The team was really successful. And then they kind of just got bought out, which you'll see later, by uh, OKC. OKC just had the better deal. And I think that they'll just return to the Supersonics as before if they do so. So going on to the top relocation possibilities... Here are the teams with the uh, lowest market rating. Some of them are in established cities, so we're going to keep on narrowing them down. Uh, the Suns, I think, are a major candidate because um, they've had uh, trouble with their stadiums. And as you can see, like just getting a deal would be pretty hard. It's getting pretty hard for them. And they haven't had a lot of success and there's no really besides Steve Nash there's no really draw or whatever and those these are the re-expansion numbers so realistically I could see the Kings Memphis and Suns moving as uh, I mentioned before Memphis maybe because not too much success and plus they're on that list so the Kings would move to Kansas City or Virginia Memphis would move to Louisville as it's near and the Suns would move to Albuquerque as it's near too and uh, all the pros and cons will go around with that list. But I'm not too sure about the Kings moving, even though they suck and they haven't had a lot of success. So new expansion teams would be in Seattle, Vancouver, Mexico City. Even though I rooted those out, uh, those are probably the new, most likely new expansion teams. Uh, even though, like I said, Vancouver and Mexico City weren't on the list. Um, see, I, you'll see Seattle tops that list. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If I missed a city, whether you want a team and any new expansion ideas. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.